So it's been confirmed that Batman, or THE Batman, played by Robert Pattinson, will not be appearing in the first season slash the series that is Penguin. When addressing this, director Matt Reeves specifically stated, that story, not really, that wasn't the intent. But we're working on other projects, and Batman might just appear in some of those. So this is the latest update from Matt Reeves in relation to Batman appearing in TV series. Now, of course, we know he's not appearing in Penguin, but they've teased that he might appear in other TV series that they're developing because there's going to be more spinoffs for the Batman. And while Matt Reeves told EW that for him, he always wanted to make sure that the star of each film was Robert Pattinson's Batman. And that his central arc goes through the films. And that's where we get the emotion. That's where we get Bruce. That's where we get Batman. And that's where we see what's going on. But he did say that Warner Brothers at the same time did ask, well, are you going to put Batman on TV? Because they were okay with it if he was. And he says that he was excited, but they didn't want to do it for Penguin because it just didn't feel like it belonged there in that story. And then when talking about the uh, crime dramas and everything like that, and obviously how Batman is a crime noir style story in modern day, he says that when they look at this, they realize that depending on what projects they do based on what characters, there might be a need to actually bring the character in. And when that happens, then we're obviously going to see him come to the TV side of things, but that that's not going to take away from his appearance and arc in the films. So essentially what they're saying is, let's say that the Two-Face series is apparently rumored to be in development or something, right? Let's say that takes place after the Batman Part 2, before the Batman Part 3. If Pattinson's Batman appears in it, it's not going to be some major story-shifting seismic thing that happens in that, that when we get to Batman Part 3, we go, hold on, did I miss something? Because again, the audience is different. The audience that watches the film is estimated to be 8 to 10 times larger than the ones that will watch the series. It's just different, you know? So I get what he's saying, and that's a smart way to handle it, because they probably learned from Marvel Studios that that's not how you should do it. 